This is a demonstration of a new capability around mass property attributes in the December 2022 release of NX. Uh, for many years, we've had, uh, as we look in a particular component, uh, in the properties for that component, we've had the ability to create some mass property attributes out there. And uh, every part really will have uh, a bunch of these that start with mass prop in here. You see a mass prop mass and mass prop density and volume and so on, right? And uh, we can turn these on. These are used, um, it, of course, to, to display the, the, the results of, of the mass that's happening in that specific part. Um, the thing that's a little tricky here is that this works really well for piece parts. <laughs> and uh, if we have an individual part, of course, it has solid geometry in it. And, and that's going to have, uh, have some mass properties when we calculate those. Um, the, these attributes here are going to tell us the individual contribution, really, of that of that part. And, and in this particular case, we're looking at the the properties of the top level assembly here. And there's no geometry in the top level assembly node, and so these are showing zero here because there there's no geometry there, right? Again, we're looking at the very specific contribution of that 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 node. These are used to also to communicate that mass to team center, transfer that mass to team center. And we want those individual contributions on the team center side for sure. So that if we do more assembly configuration or roll ups on the team center side, then we get a, we get an accurate roll up on that side. Inside NX, if we want to look at these, the, the rolled up properties here, we, we see those, of course, in the assembly navigator. We can see those down in, in the mass properties panel when we select the, the top level assembly and we also can optionally create some mass prop roll-up uh, properties. These are driven by um, customer default in the uh, in the, in here. And if we go look here in uh, gateway and a mass down here, we have the option here again to have some part attributes. We saw there these turned on the part density mass prop mass mass prop density turned on. Um, certainly do all of the inertial properties and things like that too. I didn't have those turned on. Um, mass prop rollups here. I've got I've got mass prop mass mass prop rollup mass turned on and uh, and not the others at the moment. But this will create that rolled up mass for um, for historically for for any assembly node, right? If the if it had components, we would we would create this mass prop rollup mass um, for again sub assembly nodes and, and assembly nodes, right? So that, that worked well for, for several releases. Uh, an observation that uh, many of you told us about was the idea that if you had a drawing, for instance, if you're making drawings and you had a title block and your title block had, a, uh, for instance, a mass field on it, or in your standard notes, if you had a mass field um, out there, that um, for making drawings of of piece parts, uh, you would need to go to that mass prop mass attribute to get that that value. And for assemblies, you would often need to go to that mass prop roll up mass uh, <laughs> attribute. And, and that you had kind of two places you had to go for for the mass given uh, w depending on whether you were you were making a drawing of a part versus an assembly and that that was undesirable <laughs> right um, and so uh, after some thinking about it what we decided to do is uh, basically always publish those mass prop roll up uh, uh, properties if you if you've got those turned on so in this case here for instance we've got again that top level assembly and inside that top level assembly as we just saw we've got the mass prop roll-up mass is uh, is happening there at the top level assembly. Uh, I think we might also have the expression turned on for this. Yeah, so this is generating an expression for, for mass prop roll-up mass here as well. We can optionally, again, in the customer defaults, turn this on and have this be an associative uh, expression creation. Um, the thing that's also going to happen here, you'll notice, is if we go and look at a component you know, in this assembly, we've got the axle here that we're actually gonna see a very similar set of properties here for the axle, right? As we come in and look, this one is gonna have at the piece part level, um, mass and density and volume, because uh, I checked those on. There's a solid actually in this part, so this'll, this'll report for, for those. But we're, we're also gonna generate this mass prop roll-up mass, right? And in this case, of course, that's gonna be the same as the mass prop mass. Uh, these'll be a duplicate value here, so, so to speak. Um, but from the perspective of, again, from detailing, PMI, things like that, where you may want to be referencing a common attribute out there, uh, no matter whether you're, you're looking at a part or an assembly, 
then this, uh, this common mass prop roll up mass here is going to be very useful. So that's the, the little enhancement that we put in there for, for NX uh, 2212, the December uh, 2022 release. And uh, I hope you find that useful.